I'm, first of all, I'm not dealing with no man that's insecure as fuck. Because a lot of women already be dealing with broke niggas. Look, I'm gonna keep it a bean. Ain't no nigga just trying to be buddy buddy with y'all niggas. At the end of the day, if you call that nigga up right now and say, let's fuck, is he gonna fuck? That's the real question. No. Stop the cap. <laughs> so I feel like I bring everything to the table because I do my own everything. I don't care about nobody calling they play what type of content, what type of content, and be blunt, you fucking on OnlyFans, what you doing? Yeah. She put sex Oh, okay. All right, all right. I got fucked upside down outside in a, in a forest preserve in Illinois Damn. with the cops across the street from us. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Joe Devon. Today, we doing something different. Today, we doing a new game that I created called, Are You For The Streets? We gonna determine who for the streets. It's four judges, including myself, it's five ladies. In this game, all we gonna do is ask some questions for each round. Somebody's gonna get eliminated each round, depending on what they say and what they don't say. I'm not gonna really explain too much. We really just gonna get straight into the game. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get to 5K subs. And yeah, we just really gonna let everybody shout themselves out. And we gonna get we gonna get this shit started. Follow me on Instagram, work hard, huh? Hey, y'all know what's up, Miss Pounds, M-I-S-S-P-O-U-N-D-Z. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and the other thing, the bird thing, you know. What's the bird thing? <laughs> there about it. It's seven, follow me on Instagram, 437. My name is Yasmin Diaz on Instagram. I'm Meech. My name on Instagram is underscore dot her dot three three three. My name is Cheyenne. Instagram is S H I period E L I S E underscore. Follow me on Instagram at Barbie dot Ari with two E's and two I's. Hey y'all, my name is Future. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at Future Wisdom with three M's. The question is. What is one thing y'all bring to the table in a relationship? We want to know. Y'all say y'all not for the streets. Well, what you bring to the to the table? And be honest. You get a minute to to lock your answer in. So I feel like I bring everything to the table because I do my own everything. I don't care about nobody calling they flag. I have my, I bring the table to the table. <laughs> one thing. One thing, thing one you bring thing. to the table. What's one thing? I you... bring a table to the table. You bring a table? My own table. table. All right, bet. My own Go. table, that's one thing. That's your answer? Yeah. All right, bet. All right, I bring mental security to the table. Mental security? Mental security. Mental security. What you security. mean by that? Meaning you need stability. Spiritual stability, mental stability. So, I mean, why are you gonna be with somebody where you can't be comfortable, where you're not vulnerable, you're not yourself? Especially okay. as men, if you have to hide and you can't confide in your partner, you don't have no mental security. Okay. Who are you? Mentally what if they already stable? If you are mentally stable, just as I am mentally stable, that we can both go from there because we're on the same frequency. So you feel so like you get elevate. to elevate each other. Okay. So, if a nigga crying to you, telling you all his problems. I said, if a nigga crying to you, telling you all your problems, you gonna be okay with that? Absolutely. Stop the because cap. I feel like there's a solution to every problem. You not gonna be turned off by that? Why? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Gonna, I'm gonna say why, because <laughs> when men express their they feelings to a woman, they look at them different every I'm, time. I'm sorry, well, when men express themselves to females or girls, they oh, get okay. that it's a turn off, but to a woman, to a grown woman, uh -huh. and she finds that mental stability safe, that if you're gonna give her that safe space, she needs to give you that same safe, same safe space. Okay. Cause my man is coming to me and saying, "Baby, look, I I know you can't do nothing for me, but I just need a listening ear." Mm. Cool. Even if you don't, baby, I got you. Right. I'm here mentally. You can talk to me mentally. You're safe. Is okay. That all you offer mentally. No, absolutely. You just said listen. You said one, one thing. thing. We said one thing. That's we my man. Nah. No. No. <laughs> she even asked. What you say? You said. Oh, I know she not talking. We said one thing, you said everything. Hold on. So, so you did, did you not say you bring the table to the table? <laughs> My almost made like hers. I ain't gonna lie. But it's a flip the board. Flip the board. Like, I'm not the lying. Board. What is yours saying? Like, need for stability. I'm big on priorities. You need to handle your shit before you do anything extra. So how does that what you mean you bring that to the what do you mean i'm confused we said I'm we bring to the that. table so if you're not doing what you well i feel like you're supposed to be doing or what i know you done told me you're supposed to be doing i'm gonna remind you no what are you what are you bringing 
What are you bringing That's to the I'm table, bringing. though? I'm talking about you. What you bring to the table. That's what I'm bringing. Huh? She's confused. It sounded like you said stability. Yeah, that's okay. what I said. The need for stability, but I'm big on priority. So just explain how you provide the stability. Well, shit, as a woman, I keep my house together. I'm big on it. I'm not comfortable with my shit. Like, huh? I'm, I'm tidy. I'm me. So and clean. my life at work, in school, I got a baby. I'm big on handling my shit, period. So you bring so stability like by I'm cleaning. So I who I'm dealing with, they need to be big on handling their shit. If they fall short, I'm going to remind them. So you bring some stability by cleaning? No, I'm not just saying cleaning. Okay, because I, I, said, I got I a go, question though. Would huh? you want to bring stability to a guy? I know, I want you to provide it, but I'm, I'm here to- Exactly. Huh? Okay, let me see. So you, let's get this right. Let's, let's get this right. You want a guy to provide stability, but you bring stability to the table? Is that what I'm hearing? No, I didn't, <laughs> I did say I want him to provide it. I want to have stability and I feel like, Add stability to stability. Like, Man, let's really no. like, let's go to the next. Let's go to the next. Let's go to the next. Go ahead. What, what you bring to the table and flip your board over so I know you're not lying. Either. I'm not lying. I said I wanted to bring peace oh to the table. Oh my gosh, table. that's a risk. All right, hold on. Wait, I'm going to let you explain. I'm going to let you explain. I'm going to let you explain. I want, okay, so like, you know, this Speak might... up too because we can't really hear you too good. <laughs> okay, this might sound very stereotypical. But a lot of men, you know, they're very aggressive or they're very like reserved and everything. And I don't want you to be reserved or aggressive. A lot of men grew up in a very aggressive household. I did too, but naturally I'm very peaceful. So I don't want you to always be aggressive. I want you to find some peace within me. Like when you have a very bad day, I want you to be like, okay, you know, I want to come home to her or let me talk to her. And, and you're going to ease his mind type shit. Yeah. And it's very... I believe. Um, a lot of men, as much as they hate to admit it, they need a shoulder to cry on. Even if they're not literally crying, they need someone to come to. Even if they don't want to come to someone and they just need physical touch, I can provide physical touch. I can provide a verbal love, a physical love, a mental love, spiritual love, whatever you need. Any kind of peace, whatever is your love language and your comfort zone. Okay. Okay. Thank you for Let's your patronage. All right, go ahead. Go to the next. Go to the next. You believe? She, she mm. Okay, before I show my answer, I want to agree to disagree with you ladies. Oh, uh -oh. Um, just off the simple fact, I feel like if you're going to be in a relationship with somebody, your energy already, you already got to have to do the personal work to be able to take on another person's energy. Mm. Um, and then my answer was character, I guess since you said one thing, but I wrote a plan for <laughs> assets and brain. Um, the reason why I said character is because I just feel like loyalty peace, stability, all that comes into character. If you doing the personal work and you dealing with somebody, you already got a head at, you know what I'm saying? Already there. So that's my answer. Now let me ask why you put the red flag up. One answer. Well, my main answer, one answer is character. Here. So Yo, that's my you answer. You bring character. Y'all, I feel like y'all giving us very bland answers. Y'all can ask a nigga what he brings to the table. Number one thing y'all want is providing, right? But when we ask y'all, you saying you bring the table to the table, you bring care, you bring character goes into financial stability. Get her the mic. Get her the mic, man. I don't when you say this. provider, you provide in all ways, right? You yeah. ain't just providing in one way. So okay. when you say provider, you talking about all around the border. Okay. When I say table, I'm talking about I'm coming my own person. Right. I'm gonna have my own everything. Okay. And we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up where you lacking at, and that's how that goes. So, so why, why would I ask you when you bring one to the, one thing to the table? Because y'all cut me off. You telling me you bring the table it's to the table? If I can say that, you ain't let me elaborate. So when we she did. Elaborate, we gave her a chance. We gave her a chance. Yo, you threw that flag up. I said fuck it. So hey, now that's a red flag because if you easily triggered, that's a red flag. No, 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 no. Let Every me time finish. Every girl say everything is a red flag. So let's let's perfect. let's elaborate more when you say the question. Say like you know not one we thing because she has. It's an easy. It's an easy question, though. It it's is just easy one question. thing. But so when I, when I say one, it sounds like more than one listen, thing, right? Listen, listen, you, listen. That's a red flag. That's a red flag. Question is, what do you bring to to the relationship? And you say character. Right. Character. Right. Okay. That's All right. That's That's nice. look, everybody so look, got character. If you actually think about it, everybody bring character. Correct. I, 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 everybody bring character, I, I, though. No, I, I get, I get what she's saying. She did go. You asked me to bring something. <laughs> Man, look. All right. 
That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Right now, we finna eliminate somebody in this motherfucking room right now. Let's get straight to it. We about to send somebody back to the streets. I'm tired of this. So who? All right, man, look, we done made our decision. We done made our decision. Somebody getting sent back to the streets today. That's just what it is. Um, Contestant number three, middle. The judge has decided that you got to pack the bags, go back to the streets. She belongs to the streets. You for the streets. But hold on, we gonna explain why, okay? Your answer to me personally just didn't make sense. Like, I, I couldn't understand what you meant by that. I was lost. That's that's just me though. That's just me. I'm gonna go ahead. I understand what you're saying, what you was trying to say. But um, you said you can provide stability, right? That's what you're saying? Oh, that's what you're trying to say? <laughs> I'm saying I can help you pick up where you, like she said, where you lacking basically. Like, I'm big, I'm big on priorities. That was, that's my biggest answer. Okay, I'm so that's where you, where you threw it off at. Sound like you said you could be your partner. Yeah. You're a team player. That would have been a better. Back to the streets, man. Back to the streets. We have some uh some late arrivals, of course. My name is Melissa. My Instagram is EXO. It's Melissa. Hey y'all, I'm Jazz. My Instagram is underscore Jazz Queen. Do you have any male friends? If so, how many? Male friends. Do you have any male friends? If so. How many? How many? Two, I have two. Two? Now let yes. me ask you this. Best friends at all? No, they just friends. I'm not labeling nobody as my best friend, not no nigga. Okay. But I have two male friends. Okay, go ahead. How you many said, years you know, you know both The of first them. one, I knew him for like five years. The second one, I knew him for like two, maybe two. Okay. Not even two. All right, my answer is two as well. Okay. Want to know the timelines? Is it time frame? Is it best I mean, the time frame? frame? No. Okay. No. One is my older brother. We've been knowing each other since for it's 15 fine. years. Hold on. No family no. count. Okay, no family count? count? Even though he's not related? No, huh? Like oh, then shit. Hold on. Hmm. She, oh, she said even if they're not related, not related so that's not her friend. That's one. Wait, time. Mm. That's Red flag. I said no. He's my older brother. <laughs> We've been knowing each other since like when for 15 years. No, he's not my brother. She said brother. not related. We've grown up together. No. He got a flag that. She said not related. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my answer is yes, only two, and I see them as family. So only two. I don't, only two. And they what? Do you see them as I what? see them as family. <laughs> the three that just went though, y'all three. Have the guys that that y'all are friends that say y'all are friends with, uh, have y'all went on a date? Have they offered? No. Never try anything. Be honest. Not the cap. They so. die. I'm, I'm on it. Okay. So, y'all are friends, right? The three of y'all who answered already. They ain't never tried to get on. They ain't attracted to y'all nothing. No. And how long y'all been friends? That's why we still friends to this day. Friends. <laughs> Literally. Using the niggas. That's basically, they That's using the niggas. <laughs> but I'm asking. Friends. They never tried to get on. No. And Stop how long the cash. Strictly platonic. Literally. Literally. No, they probably try to get on. They just don't look at them like that. Right. That's why I, I don't even think they count See, as a friend. Exactly. That's why I count them as exactly. a brother. Don't, don't look, look at them like that. I'm sure. I'm sure they try to get on y'all, but y'all just don't look at them. Hold like on. That. He already know he in a friend zone. Yeah. Oh. Hold on. Pass on the mic real quick. <laughs> Hold on. Pass. You said he already know he in a friend zone. A nigga know when he got friends on. That's like me walking up to somebody I don't know. I'm not on that. I'm, when you first and like when you first encounter a person, you can either be on that or not. We not on that. We just talking. We just being cool. So when y'all met each other, but if not, how did that happen? I don't care if you how did the friendship start. I'm not gonna start? play mind games with you and try to figure start? that out. Either you gonna come to me and say I wanna f with you or I wanna be but a friend. But I'm asking you, we how grown. did the friendship start? How did the friendship yeah, start? Yeah, y'all was friends since young. Everybody just be on cool stuff. It don't be like that. It don't be. Not I don't know cat. what everybody else do, but. Put that flag down right now. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We're gonna go all the way to the fourth person now. We're gonna go to her. Yeah, yeah. How many, how many guy friends you got? This way. None? I don't have any Not because- Not a damn one. 
Because look, if I'm being completely honest, every time I try to be friends with a dude, they want to f me or they want to fuck with me. Thank you. So I, did. I don't I did. with that. I, I want a I mean, real that's, that's, that's guy. Keeping it I real. want a real guy friend. I don't want a friend that's attracted to me. I want you looking at me like one of the bros, but they keep looking at me like I want to fuck with Because that's not with it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Go ahead. Go to the next. Like, what the fuck? Okay, that's what I niggas. Do. We not talking to yeah. you to be friends? Ain't no nigga talking to you to be a, a buddy? That's what we got guys for. Like, um, go ahead. Okay, so I got three guy friends. One of them I only knew for a year. We met actually during film when I was filming on the movie set, so we actually became cool like that. Um, the other one, I met him in like elementary school. We stopped like being friends, and then we recently like rekindled and you know became friends again. And then the other one. He just like a friend of the family and he just been around. Like he got a big like he got he <laughs> go, damn, ahead, go ahead. He got a whole Hey y'all cannot get distracted by the flag. I'm a, I'm gonna say no. Uh it's my god mama son, but I never really knew him. He recently just started coming around, but he in the army and he married, so it's like Okay. Right. <laughs> so you got three all together. Huh? Three all together? Three all together. Okay, go to the go to the next. All right, so I got two male friends, which I've been knowing one since the third grade. That's my best friend. And the other one since the 10th grade. So, yeah. Neither one of them ever tried to talk to me. We really friends, so. You said since third. Yeah, how long? Oh, oh, third, third grade. grade. Huh. Is yeah. he gay? How old am I? Is he gay? No, he not gay. You called him best friend. He that's had plenty of hoes. But you called him best friend. But you yeah. Said, that, is that the one okay. from the third grade? Okay. Yeah. And then you said another I one from I put him on plenty, plenty of hoes. That's your best friend? Yeah. Shout him out. Hey, TT. <laughs> TT? His name TT? But don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, don't do so that. Okay, so look. So look. Yeah, you said that's one really my brother for real. <laughs> his name TT? TT, okay, yeah, look. his real name Terrence. Oh, okay, okay, y'all got a nick. You got a Don't nickname. Don't do for that. Him. You got a nickname for him? Yeah, but yeah. But look. No, that's his actual nickname. That's his actual nickname. Like everybody in the hood. Oh, call okay, him that. okay. All right, so hold on, wait. You said another one from the tenth grade? Yes, but he is friends with my ex, so we all friends. Huh? We all went to the same high school. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Watch what? <laughs> Y'all is weird. Like, <laughs> why are y'all throwing? Y'all got female friends? No, we talking oh, about the okay. egg. Okay. Oh. All right, look. This is tough. Okay. This is fucked up because all y'all got all. Of, I'm gonna be honest. Let me keep it a buck. All y'all niggas is red flag. All y'all. Oh, besides, besides all black, all y'all red flag. So we all because I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Ain't no nigga just trying to be buddy buddy with y'all niggas. And a nigga sit here for 10 years and try to be buddy buddy with you and act like he buddy buddy at the end of the day. At the end of the day, if you call that nigga up right now and say, let's fuck, is he gonna fuck? That's the real question. No. Stop the cap. <laughs> call That's cap. Call him. That's cap. Call him. That's cap. Call him. I put this on my life. That's cap. Y'all about to piss me off. Hey, what they talking about? I got female friends and I ain't never tried to fuck. It just depends on like how grown y'all is for real. Right, they just talking right. some bullshit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got female friends, right? Are you attracted to them in any type of way? That's the only way it's gonna work. That's the only way it's gonna work. How long you knew them? Uh, her about a year. I got a best friend. I knew her for like six years. Uh, you a red flag, bro. All right, look, I mean, shit, it kind of fucked me up because I'm a nigga and I know how niggas think. I ain't gonna say you can't be friends. It's possible. It definitely is. But personally, I just feel like it's not possible. The only way it's possible if, it's, if a nigga is not attracted to you. I mean, yeah, you could be, oh, you can hype your friends up like you do and say they baddies. But if you're not attracted to them, that's the only way. But if you're thinking, huh? They, they baddies. But you're not attracted to them, right? In any type of way. Right. Oh. I mean, they could be baddies, but you're not attracted to them. Okay, okay. so that's what I'm saying. But, uh... Y'all ready to eliminate or y'all wanna y'all kinda wanna go one more round? Go let's go one more round, man. Let's, like two, so. okay, let's go one more round. Are you cool? Are, look, look, let's ask this. Are you cool with any of your exes? Let's ask that. Fuck no. No? Next. What is that? Are you cool? Huh? What is that? Yo, eh? What is that? Oh, next. Situation. What situation? What situations? I'm single. 
You want my phone? Cause no, nah, we don't do that. They don't exist. You can't. You cannot claim me. You cannot claim me. Fuck is you talking about? You get one time with me. One. Right. So no. That's a red flag for sure. Go ahead, go ahead. Next. Keep it a B. Keep it a B. Cause the way you just rolled your eyes, look like you about to lie. I'm not cool with none of my exes. I don't, I don't believe her either, bro. They cool. They just not on good terms right now. They cool. I'm not cool with any of my exes, but it's also no beef. No beef, no on site type of shit. I'll look right past you. So if you went and seen your ex, right? Look right past. And y'all was in a party and you was like, hey, what up? Or I'm a not, gathering you said event. He was like, hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah. Like y'all was cool. Like, no. Okay, go ahead. Go to the next. Go to the I'm next. I'm not talking to him. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, I don't have no exes. You ain't got no exes? No. You ain't never been in a relationship? Nope. I just had situations. Like, I never wanted... You never had a real relationship? I've had... No. I never had no relationship. Let I'm, me ask you. Let me I'm, ask you. How, I'm young. Okay, How old I'm, are you? I'm 21. I don't feel like I need to be in a relationship right now. No, no, I'm young. Okay, like, look, look, look. I'm young. I, I, I feel you because I say the same Even in thing. high school, though, I never... But I don't want to lie and say I haven't had been in a relationship because what you're doing is you're calling I, them situations, but they was relationships. So they were not relationships because they had the understanding that we were not in a committee. They were talking to other people and it was me so going it was on. Like it was never, it was an understanding. It was a you and one person tied in locked in. No real relationship. All through high school? I never, in high school, I never did relationships. I can like, believe it though. I'm younger. Right. Like, right. You're only 21, I'm a, I'm right? I'm only 21. Oh, she only 21. She don't know people got a first love. Like, so she yeah, like, some I'm people really that. do stay single through high school. Yeah, like, not she only 21. All right, we're going to Baby. We're going to. Y'all don't believe her. Um, for me. Go, go ahead. Well, uh -oh. I only got one ex. So, that's kind of like. My that's next, that's still food. my nigga, so huh? I don't know. Huh? Say that again. You heard what I said? Say that again. Yes. Say that again. Yes. Say that again. I only got one. I only got one. Uh, what you mean? How is that well, a red flag? You want just, me to have multiple exes? Y'all is tweaking for real. Look, hold on, let's, let's keep it being. You said it's your ex, but it's your next. Yes. That's toxic, right? How is that your ex and your next? Well, at least I only got one. Why is not? But why is it not your nigga right now? If that's your next. What you mean? Cause I'm not about to tell y'all my business. Okay, okay, okay. I understand. I understand. We gonna just make our decision. Just only got man. one ex. And yes, you, we all right, still so cool. Keep, let's keep it a bit. You cool with your ex? Yes. Okay. That's all we want to know. All right. That's all we want to know. So look, let's eliminate somebody out of here now. That's two questions, man. Let's go ahead and get somebody up out of here now. Who we? All right. Look, we done. We done made our mind up. In one second, we made our mind up. <laughs> Real quick, we done made our mind up, and unfortunately, yes, you stand in the game, man. You stand in the game. I'm just fucking with you. Melissa, Jazz, I'm gonna be honest. You out of here, man. You to the streets, bro. You to the streets. How is you cool with your ex, and he's the next? I don't get it. She belongs to the streets. We do love the honesty. No, but look, why you just oh, don't claim him? Back then, I give a shit. Man. That makes sense. Okay, okay, I understand. Okay. You still gotta go. But you still gotta go. <laughs> oh, that. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I'm gonna go ahead and let you pack up and go to the streets. All right. She belongs to the streets. So let's get straight to it. Okay, bet, 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 bet. All right, look. What's the question of the day? What's the freakiest thing that you have ever done? Yeah. I want to say the freakiest thing I ever did was I I gave head laying down. You did what? Gave head laying down like up like you was laying on your you was laying on your back. <laughs> Is what you're saying? Basically, yeah. You was laying with your, on your back with your head off the bed? Yeah. We not raining it down? Huh? No, we not raining it down? I need some time to think. You can. You, can you need down. some time to think? Yeah, because I don't need to watch it. Because is that many? I don't need to watch oh, it. Oh, Man, we ain't got time. Look, what's the freakiest thing you've done? Let's get straight to it. Um, I had, Off the dome. I had sex at the Riverwalk. 
Where? At the river walk. At the river yeah. walk? What you mean? Like, like outside? In the public, no, it wasn't on the rail. <laughs> in a car? <laughs> huh? In a car? Like, what you mean? No, it was in public. I was taking my ex virginity. Oh, oh my god. god! Yeah, I was taking his virginity, and we did. taking his virginity. Taking his virginity. Yeah. Okay. All right. Damn. How old was you? Wait. How old you? How old was you? How old was you? Huh? How old was you? Like eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. <laughs> right, we gonna go to the next. Okay, the freakiest thing I ever did was give him while he was driving. That's dangerous. That's, That's dangerous. We appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> this a no judgment zone, right? Yeah, no judgment. Oh. <laughs> but you go too far, um, I might make a face. You said what? Nothing. Take it too far, you gonna make a face? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, um, freakiest thing I've done, I got two, but I'm gonna give y'all one. Um, I got fucked upside down outside in a, in a forest preserve in Illinois with the cops across the street from us. Yeah, upside down. What's number two? So, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was hanging. Can you, can you show us what you're talking about? <laughs> Can you demonstrate what you're talking Not about? Hands. Okay. <laughs> like, I handstand. Bend over. Okay. Sir. Sir, please. Sir, <laughs> listen. Don't say it, sir. Don't say it. Get me that woman. I ain't never had that. I'm trying to see what that looks like. Right <laughs> there. I don't know if that eliminated her or just final her to the next one. <laughs> that, I guess, yeah. I never had the second one, I was being nasty on a Ferris wheel. Damn, I didn't know Vegas, you. All right. So. Damn. Shit. Shit. All right, go ahead, yeah. So the freakiest thing I ever did. And we talking about freak freaks. Because you know I'm innocent. I don't do too much. <laughs> Shut up! What you do, Brady Shut nigga? <laughs> Don't get him a fucking bike. Take that shit from her. Anyways, the freakiest thing I ever did was I want to say the little fruit roll up thing, where you put the fruit roll up on. Oh, all right. And I all was right. like, that's when I had first lost my virginity. I had did the little fruit roll up thing. Did you do it till it was gone? Oh till yeah. Till it was completely gone. Not I. I ate it all. <laughs> okay. Did he finish? I mean, I got it down en enough, and then I just ate it off. You spit or swallow? That wasn't the fucking question. I can't get y'all all of that. What's he say? Did you did you spit or swallow? Did I spit or swallow? I ate the fucking. What you mean? I licked it. Ate oh, it. Did he? You know what we talk about? <laughs> he said, did he finish? And when he finished, did you spit well, it or swallow? Let me ask. Let's a lot of niggas don't finish. <laughs> a lot of niggas don't finish. Cause I mean, to be honest, y'all girls suck at giving that shit, bro. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Right. I'm gonna ask one more question because I feel like that ain't that ain't that ain't make my decision just yet. If that makes sense, all right. I'm gonna ask one more question, man. Money, sex, love. Put it in order. Which one you want? One, two, three. Money, sex, love. Put it in order. Yo, your partner. Your partner. Put it in order. Do you want him to have money? You want that nigga to fuck you good? Or do you want that nigga to love you more than anything? Love. Uh-huh. And then sex, money. Money come and go. So that's why I put money left. So, wait, hold on. I gotta, I gotta ask her a question already. So if he broke and can't fuck you. Let me tell you, you something. Money don't make you. Y'all, so, y'all so money, money based. That's last. <laughs> you taking the bus with your n Do that matter? No. If the sex the not good, I'm not, listen, no. If, if I love you, then yeah, I'm going to have sex with you. And Agreed. then I'm worry about what's in your pocket. Because I can help you get no, to no, that no. point. Or no, you can help me, it don't matter. One. You can lose it. You can have it all right now and lose it all tomorrow. I'm still going to fuck you. And I'm still going to love you. Those two things first. So, Okay. thank right. you. Okay, okay, okay. 
my p don't even get wet if he ain't got no money because I got the money and I can't be the only one paying Thank the bills. So Thank my you. list is love, money, and sex. I could teach you how to f okay. I could teach you my body. You're going to have to learn my body anyway. Okay. I don't want you to be fucking me like you fucking your last bitch. Okay. I, I'm different. Okay. Are you? you <laughs> I could, I, I'm gonna teach you my body. I'm gonna teach you my body. I'm not, I'm gonna teach you my body. Okay. I'm gonna teach you my body. You might not be packing in the right areas, but I'm gonna use that bad boy. All right, baby. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead to the next. Okay, I got love, money, and sex because. I just feel like I'm not about to lay up with no broken skin. Come on, day. If he, he don't even gotta do shit for me, he gotta do for himself. If a nigga not doing for himself, that's just broke. Like I'm not doing it. I'm not about to be laid up fucking a nigga. I don't care how good his dick is. Okay. And with the sex part, shit, I mean, I like to have sex, so mm. it gotta stay on here. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm with it. Um, I feel like okay. I feel love, money, sex. Uh, um, I feel like because people really will use you for your money and sex so I need to make sure you love me first and personally if my money isn't right if your money isn't right I feel like you don't deserve having sex with me I don't mean that in a conceited way I'm just saying if my money not right I don't feel the need to have sex sex doesn't even cross my mind until my money gets right and then sex is better when you love somebody and y'all life is together like with each other like the sex is a hundred percent better okay go ahead to the next Go ahead, go ahead. You got a question? Uh, okay. Hold on, wait. Before you, before you, I do, I do got a question for like majority of y'all. So, huh? Yeah, I got a question for all y'all. So, if a nigga don't even have money from the jump, would y'all even talk to him? Like he ain't gotta like have a lot of money. I feel like that's what I'm saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back to her. I, I, I. Wait, no, matter of fact, I'm going to circle back to you. A lot of women already be dealing with broke niggas. That's the truth. They perk like, oh, you got to spend this money on me. I'm just keeping the bucks. I ain't talking to nobody. I'm glad y'all, but y'all know what it is for real. Y'all, majority of women be already messing with niggas that's broke. Okay. Uh, I put money, love, sex. Uh, just because I learned my lesson that you can love somebody broke, and they still had the same fucked up ways, not give a fuck about nothing, not try true. to change their life. So at this point, it's like money, love, then sex. Okay, I f with it. Now let's circle back to Yaz. Let's circle back to Yaz. We go, we go, we gonna get to it. I just want to know. Say your order one more time. I said love, sex, money. I'm very traditional. I'ma keep Get it. The keep it a buck. I'm traditional. <laughs> go. You gotta go. Bye. You gotta go. Bye. Look, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> it's time to pack your bags and go back to the streets. Okay. She belongs to the streets. That was a good round, but yes, unfortunately, you you've been flagging me the whole oh, no. goddamn game. <laughs> All right, so look, this is what we finna do in a relationship, right? Are you gonna post your man on social media? What? You got a Are you gonna post him on social media? Or are you gonna keep him hidden, packed away? Is it on me <laughs> since I got the phone? Well, go ahead. We're gonna let you start it off. Do go ahead. Yes, I am going to post my man. I'm not gonna post him every single day, but I'm definitely gonna post my man. So that's. And we're not talking about posting. Not just friends. a story post. He's getting posted on my page. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, now you ain't blurring shit out, now. I done seen posts where niggas' heads is not on their body. <laughs> <laughs> the internet is going to glitch. <laughs> okay. it's going to, the internet is going to glitch because my nigga face is going to be right there. Okay, that's a that's that's facts. Okay, go ahead. I thought he was writing shit down, so I wrote like, Fuck yeah, because uh, I do love like very hard. Like whenever I do get to a relationship, it like. My page gonna damn near turn to a fan page for him. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, so my answer was yes. Because my man, my man, my man. Like, I never had a relationship. So for me, it's gonna be my man, my man, my man. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to now do. For me to make him my man, that's my man. Let that's me be, everything. let me, let's be real now. He gonna, look, Future. I'm getting bracelets. I'm putting a ring on. I'm married. I'm in a relationship. Let's, let's bring it back, okay? Because like I said, I know, I know all <laughs> Uh, what are you talking about? I know. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 go ahead. I, go ahead. I, no, once I, they come down to me, I'm going to be real with y'all. No. 
Hold on, hold on. Before you touch anything, I'ma say why. I'm saying no because for one, the type of person I am, what my social media represents, not raunchy or nothing, but for one, I know how men are and I know how women are. I don't want, and I'm big on energy, I don't want any of that tainting my space. You're gonna know I'm in a relationship. I might do a post and delete. I barely post myself, but I'll be damned because females are too slick. And I'm talking about I've had females, I've had family to try me when I post a partner. So no, I'm okay with keeping my personal life off of social media. What I post on social media is what I want you to see. And what see. do you post on social media? I post my business. I post my business, I post nature. If I'm going on nature walks, if I'm working out, you know, different school things, I'm a flip You're on a vacation so with your boyfriend, you're not posting shit. I'm posting our scenery. I'm posting our feet. I'm posting us getting a massage. So but it hurts you said that what? Bad. What if he asked you? You said what? What if he asked you? If he post? asked me, I have no issue with that because okay. you feel comfortable with that. So you would. Post I don't mind it, but I'm not going to just willingly. I'm not going to. I'm personally. Okay. I'm perfectly fine with my personal life being private. So no. That's tough. All right, let's go back to. Uh, you can pass it all the way back down to the. I'm oh, using my last video. And you said you don't post nobody on your motherfucking social media. Mm -hmm. So he got to be your boyfriend, right? He got if if I'm posting him, y'all That man in. is we locked in. But if you gonna post him though? Exactly because and I, I ain't talking I about never, no close friends. I'm one of the people. Why we posting on my page? You know what I'm saying? So if that's my man, that's my man. Like it's no somebody. it's buts or ends about it. Okay, okay. He's he's it's supposed to do. Room. It's elimination round, man. I ain't gonna lie. I don't give a fuck. We eliminating somebody out of this thing. So, go ahead, go ahead. Pass the mic to the to the audience. Are y'all asking questions based off like who y'all is for real, or to appeal to the crowd? So who gonna like you know what I'm saying? Like try to stop being eliminated. Never speak for anybody else but ourselves. Right. But if y'all told us to be honest, then right. that's what honesty is. Right. So, all right, we'd have made our decision. And I, I ain't gonna lie, we're not even gonna give a reason behind it. It's just elimination round. And Melissa, you safe? You safe? You good? Oh, I'm to be Future. <laughs> you know it's elimination round, right? Don't scoot your chair back, cause you oh. good. Oh. <laughs> Number one. We're gonna go ahead and eliminate you. You know, we're gonna pack you, pack your bags. We're gonna eliminate you. She just said she not posting her man unless he got. I mean, unless he wants to, but. Yeah, but he have to ask her, though. He have to ask her. I'm gonna keep it a bean. I'm gonna keep it a bean. I mean, y'all already said it's elimination. It's, so it's it is me. elimination. Yeah. I'm just saying, this was a tough round. We gotta eliminate somebody, right? So we just gonna move on to the next. We're gonna move on to the next round. Last question for y'all three for this round. Do you got an OnlyFans? Yes, no, have you had one? Yes, no. Now let's get straight to it. Let's get straight to it, who gets? You know what? Keep, goodbye. 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 You have an OnlyFans? Goodbye. You have an OnlyFans? I literally just posted on my OnlyFans like a week. Goodbye. Wait, what is it? What you be posting? What you Goodbye. What you be <laughs> Look, we ain't even gotta hit. Wait, hold on, wait. Let me say something. Let me say something. Let me say something. In her defense, I'ma say this, because I have one. But my my body, my body debt is not on there. Right, hold on, look, That's look, not look. on there. What type of content? What type of content and be blunt? You fucking on OnlyFans or are you just twirling your feet around or some shit? What you doing? She put six oh, okay. Alright, 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 alright. All right, go ahead and take your chair, move back. All right, look, now we down to two. This is the final round, man. G congrats, okay? Congrats. You guys have made it to the final fucking round. Yeah, can we get a hand clap for the final round, people, man? Yeah, scoot closer, scoot closer, scoot closer, man. Let's get straight to it. Right, the question is, for females, should body count matter? And if you had to put a number of how many bodies is too many bodies? What, it, what would it be for a girl in her mid 20s? How many bodies is too many bodies? Uh, the first question was... Should body count matter for a female? And if so, how many bodies is too many bodies? I said yes, body count should um, 
matter only because you should respect yourself not because of what a nigga think also i think that too many wait too many bodies are, i think the max of bodies is five oh, so shit. too many bodies is over five if you can count if you can count on two hands if you can count on two hands then no. if you can count on two hands no the max definitely five if you got under five cool for you kudos if you got over five that's too much okay 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 no no oh, that's what I'm hey Kevin, they said the man the back, bro. they face is frowned up <laughs> They face is frowned up. <laughs> not in your life. Definitely not in your life. Mid-20s. That's her opinion. All right, we're going to go to the next. We're going to go to the next. Uh, it's crazy you said five because I said five, and I said body count does matter because if you a hoe, I need to know. It's different for males, and it's different for females. Females, your vagina can go into different situations. Males, your dick going to stay the same. So the principle of the matter is, you can't just be out here f***ing. So five is the maximum. And I say five because at, in your mid-twenties, you should not be experimenting with over five men. And that's just my personal preference. So, well, can I ask you, what's your number? Five. I'm going to be honest, it's five. I got five bodies per Listen, me. listen. We, we not, we not going to let the girls in the back like it. influence one nigga in high the school, girls in the so. back is in the back, okay? Y'all, we we playing all y'all for the streets. Y'all done made it to the final round. Some of these girls ain't even make it to the second round. But we got the same man. Okay, yeah. so we gonna ask another question. We got the same man. You going out with your girls, right? And y'all niggas say I don't want you to wear that. What you gonna say? What's your response? Melissa, go ahead first. Okay, so for my answer, I got I'ma change, but I got two things. You so gonna change? I'ma change, but look though. So if we, if I'm, if we together, say like we together and I'm about to go out, I'm going to do a fashion show. I like clothes. So I'm going to do a fashion show for him. Okay. This, this like me being real, I swear to God. So I'm going to do a fashion show for him. He going to tell me if that's cute. That's what he likes. So if he approve it, he approve it. That's what it is. Then if we not together, I'm going to send a text or I'm going to FaceTime him. Like if my, it's my nigga. We on the phone all the time. If we not together. I'm on FaceTime. He, where you about to go? Um. Look what I got on. I look cute. If he say yeah, I'm you like cute. That? Period. That's a pretty good answer. My response to that situation would be, okay, but can you tell me? First of all, I'm gonna ask you why you don't like. Why? You, what, what is it about my outfit that you don't like? And if you if you tell me that it's, it's something about revealing or something about in that way, I shouldn't carry myself in that way. Or wait, wait, like wait, that. wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was in the days. Repeat with the beginning part. Okay, I said I put my answer. Uh, how I respond to that situation Okay I will change But baby can you tell me Why you don't like it So I wanna know I'm gonna change But you gonna give what, a, You gonna my, talk back And ask why And no, say I'm like What's the reason I'm, behind this Why no, I gotta change No I'm not change. about to sit there And go back and forth I'm gonna ask you What is it about my outfit That you don't like And it's gonna be in the comments voice And once you tell me I'm gonna just say okay Cause clearly it's something That you don't want First of all I'm not stepping out You my man I'm not look, stepping out Looking crazy Look so. you, you on the time limit You about to go out With That's your girls answer. They waiting outside. You telling me you gonna have a whole deep down conversation on on why? No, I'm gonna ask why. I'm gonna ask you you're why. You gonna ask why? I'm gonna ask why. You gonna have a whole talk? You gonna have a whole talk about it? You gonna question it? You gonna go back and forth? I'm going to change, but after I change, my mind is going to ask you why. I'm going to text you something. I'm going to ask you why because once I step out, I, don't know if I, I like want to know what about my outfit that you don't like. You gonna change? You say you gonna change, but you still gonna question it. Go ahead. So, first of all, I'm not dealing with no man that's insecure as fuck because first of all, when I yeah. stepped out originally, like, you gotta make it make sense when I we <laughs> Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> no, she ain't been in a relationship before. Man. All right, look. Go ahead. I'll let you go. All right, so. So look, wait, 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 wait. But how do I keep the mic, keep the mic, keep the mic, keep the mic, keep the mic. So look, you said that that would make him insecure, but don't you think? No, it's not making. Him but listen, insecure. listen. But don't you think that means he is secure himself because he don't want his girls to look any type of way? Okay. But to him, not to you, but to him. Right, to him. I after I change. Okay. And when I come back home, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna have that 
discussion whether it's now texting or at some point I'm going to have that discussion. Okay, so look, it's, 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 hold on, wait, hold on, wait though. It's it's that deep. It's that deep to you to where you got to sit here and have a full no, conversation on him. Again, wait, 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 wait. It's a full conversation. Again, hold on, wait. It's a full conversation on him saying something as simple as, "Can you please just change your outfit? I don't feel comfortable with that." You got to have a full motherfucking conversation on an outfit. So if I go shopping again and I go pick up something similar to that and you say you don't like it again, I need to know what the fuck you're not looking for. Maybe he didn't like it. Maybe he liked it around him. Hold on, wait. Like, I need to Maybe know. Maybe he liked it around <laughs> him, though. He not saying he don't like the outfit. He just saying personally, oh, I just want you to change. If you're going out with your girls, I'm not going to be around you. Okay. And but you got to sit here and have that, a full-blown conversation about not why. Not in that moment. Not in that moment. If he approached me like that and say, baby, can you change that? You not about to be with me? That's the reason why right there. You already answered my question. Huh? I'm changing at that moment, but what I'm saying is, just how you just said you that. Still don't, you still want to know what was wrong with what you had on. All right, it's but look, I, I ain't going to lie, man. We done made our decision, man. It's time to eliminate. It's time to pick our final winner. Okay? Okay? Did y'all make y'all decision? Let me ask y'all that. Did y'all make y'all decision? Or or are y'all kind of still kind of feeling a certain type of way? Is it two winners in this shit tonight, or is it is it just one? You guys <laughs> you don't know? I'm leaning towards red loser. Sure. I am too. Because it's like, shit, if it's that deep for me to just, that's I gotta do all of that. Okay, like, did you not just see that she yelled at us? That's exactly, that would have been the real situation right there. Nigga, what? Why, nigga? What? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, man. We done found our winner, and we done found our, our loser. Future, go ahead and pack your bags. Cause uh, it's time for you to go back to the streets. She belongs to the streets. Next round, maybe next time you, you come back, you we do something different. You know? Okay, okay, go ahead. Man, look, 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 let's give a hand clap to the motherfucking winners tonight, yeah. We got a, we got a wife, we got a wife material girl. Congrats to you. We got a little gift, I got a little gift for the winner. You done deemed, you done been deemed wifey material. And trust and believe we will be doing another guys edition, okay? We are doing another guys edition. We got a little, we got a little gift for you, okay? We got some flowers. And it's a card in there too. So whenever you open it up, you know. But like I said, we are doing a guys edition. You are officially a judge if you wanna be. Okay? So make sure y'all guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let's make this shit go viral. This is the newest game. Are you for the streets? And yeah, we out, man. We gone.